Hey guys, welcome back to some more Yakuza 0. Okay, four quests left, as far as I can tell, before we need to start chasing the main quest. Uh, for a while, at least. Um, I am really excited. I think we're... Uh, I, I seem to recall we're near the point in this game that made me realize this is one of my favorite games of all times and I need to play this series. So I'm excited. Well... Here's a well-made statue. What's it doing in a place like this, though? Pretty amazing detail, too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Am I hearing voices now? Huh? Whatever the statue, uh, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the hell? Man, you're alive? Uh, uh, uh. Hey now, buddy. That tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. <laughs> you can look, but keep your hands off the performers. Performers? Yeah, that's what I am. I'm a street performer. I go by the name Tokokichi. What I'm doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you can see. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you were actually a statue. But why are you doing this here? Oh, didn't you know? This area is a holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. <laughs> the heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience, and the locals here love a good comedy bit. So they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So you're practicing your act. Yes. That would be a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. I think street performers are entertainment that anyone can enjoy, from kids who just learn to speak to the elderly forgetting words. I want to make people smile. That's a grand dream. Good on you. Well, I wish you the best. And I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb. Oh, no. It's fine. See you. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he can make it come true. Maybe I'll check back later to see how he's getting on. Okay. I'm a statue, man. Don't talk to statues. Do I have nothing to do with them? Should I just pose with him? Okay. I guess I'll leave him be for now. Ugh. Ugh. What the? What's with this creeper? Hey, you. This is a no-napping zone. Why don't you get up and move along? Why does my character give a fuck? Ugh, oh, I'm hurt. Huh? Did this guy just get the snot kicked out of him? He's in so much pain, he can't even talk. What am I going to hand over? The only medicine I have. Here you go, pal. Drink this. Ugh. <laughs> that was a nice, like, match cut or whatever you call it. You all right? Hi. Yes, I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Want to tell me what happened? Why'd you get laid out? It's... It's because I was chasing a dream. Here we go. What's this about a dream? It's my dream to boldly walk across the Oahu Bridge. Oh, right. A grand old dream like walking across this bridge sure does explain why you got beat to an inch of your life. Except not really. I mean, come on. It wouldn't take more than a minute or two to just stroll right across this bridge. But it's not that simple. And why is that? Because of this stagion I'm wearing. Stout what? Oh, no. You don't know what a stagion is. That's terrible. You're not with the times at all. So not cool. Stagion is short for stadium jumper. It's a jacket worn by athletes at stadiums, so they stay warm and limber. Overseas, they call these varsity jackets, but here in Japan, it's stagion all the way. Neat. But why in the world would wearing a stagion make it so you couldn't cross the Oahu Bridge? Well, you put a jacket like this, and you pop the collar and suddenly everyone thinks you're some kind of big shot. All the punks come charging out, looking for blood. Maybe if the jacket didn't stay, bring on the fights. Is this going to be like that thriller quest we did? 
I've tried crossing eight times now, but every time, goons show up and beat the crap out of me before I can make it. That's certainly a, a unique problem, but there's got to be other dudes wearing jackets like that, right? Uh, they aren't getting mauled by the riffraff, right? I can't explain it, but when I do it, I get so much heat. Does my face piss people off? Or is it just my destiny? Destiny's an asshole, if that's the case. But all right. At least I get why you were bleeding out on the pavement here. Yeah. So here's a novel idea. Maybe take off the stagion. Seems to me to be the source of all your woes. But that defeats the purpose. I love this stagion. I wouldn't you wouldn't believe how much trouble I went through to get this sweet jacket. I want to wear it loud and proud. That's that's my dream. Well, it's a free country, but I'd wager you got another beaten coming down the pipe. If you go through with it. That's what complicates things. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. My name is Suda. Suda-chan, huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san. If you don't mind me saying, you look like a man who can wade into brawls and walk away without a hair of uh, out of place. Well, I've got a hair tie, but yeah, I can hold my own. Majima-san, I'm sorry if this sounds wimpy, but you think you could help me make my dream come true? Huh? What do you mean? I know it's probably an imposition, but do you think you can fend off the goons while I strut proudly across the Oao Bridge? You're not kidding about being an imposition. I'm sorry, but without the help of a guy like you, my dream will be forever unfulfilled. I'll have a lifetime of regret. Please, Majima-san, please help me realize my dream. Okay, let's do it. Oh, all right, fine, I'll help you. you. You'll really do this? You mean it? I mean, I know I asked, but I didn't expect to meet a person kind enough. To get into a fist fight for me. Yeah, story of my life. But you're serious about this st that the stagion draws out goons like flies on rotten fruit? Hi. Oh, yes, totally. Just watch. Mm -hmm. huh? Hey, you. You think you're hot shit in that jacket? Huh? You're trying to start something? Huh? See? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Can't tell if it's the stagion or you that's drawn this all this aggro, though. Okay, I'm going to strut proudly down this bridge. Please, keep me safe. Enjoy your stroll, bud. These punks are going to pay the toll to the troll. Gotta pay the troll toll if you want this boy's soul. Uh, where's the other guy? Thought oh, you'd get away, huh? If only I had breaker style right now. You ready? God damn it. God damn it! I'm struggling! Why is this quest so hard? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, I feel like Breaker Style is what you really need for that quest. Yes! I finally did it. I made it all the way across the wild bridge while wearing my beloved jacket and only almost got beaten to shit. <laughs> Good for you. Hi. Yes, thank you, Majima-san. You made my dream come true. I'd like you to have this. It's the best I can do is my thanks. You got an encounter? Ooh, fuck yes. I don't think I've ever been this happy. Well, I guess it doesn't really help us with this character that much. I don't think I've ever been this happy. I'll never forget what you did for me today. <laughs> Cruising around in the jacket, is that big of a deal to you? You're an odd dude. I know. I don't think most people would understand how much this meant to me. But still, it was my dream. Yes, that's true of most dreams. Sorry. I shouldn't call you odd. No need to apologize, Majima-san. I owe you a life debt. You'll never need to apologize to me, ever. <laughs> I take it back. You're an odd dude, Suda-chan. I guess so. I get told that often. 
Well, after the most satisfying accomplishment, I'm hungry. I'm going to head for uh, home and food. <laughs> See ya. Good luck on those bridges. Yes, thank you and goodbye. Now he's going to get beaten up again, right? I guess it ain't so much about what others think of you. And it's if it's something you want to do, you better get to it. The channel was pretty weird, but his philosophy is right on. There's a real man. Hey, what's with the hard-ass stagion? You trying to be funny? Bring on the fights, huh? Let's get it on. Help! Take it off and go home. Okay. Let's save. Let's see. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. What do we have? Uh. I don't know what that means. Oh, this can show us where quests actually are, I think. Okay, let's go into building real fast. All right. Oh, he's getting a, a group of people. Is that? Yeah, it's that street performer guy. Grew himself a good-sized audience, too. Nice to see him. Hmm? What's he doing? Making smoke signals? I better get closer and see what's up. Yo, Tokokichi, you're pulling in a good crowd. Yes, it's been good, at least. So, you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I... I need to use the restroom. Oh, man. Mama, why is this man talking to the statue? Shh, he's just a little different. It's rude to stare. Psst. Thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. Sorry, but... You're the one talking to a statue. So, why are you calling me over about your uh, probl problems? There's a pizza place right over there. Why not make a beeline for the crapper? No way. I can't do that. There's a little kid watching. If he saw a statue get up and spring to life, he might be traumatized for life. I guess that's true. I don't want to shatter the, that boy's dreams, but I do need to go relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? Hey man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just go sneak off while the little tyke ain't watching? Sneak off while he's not looking. Then that's it. What? I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask, but can you distract these people? Just long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place. Who, me? Yes, you. Naturally, I'll compensate you for your trouble. I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. But, but please, if I don't go soon, I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. Hmm, what to do? Let's do it. Fine, fine. I'll help you. I expect you make good on this if I pull through, though. Okay, thank you. Okay, how do I get these folks' attention? Can I try raising my voice? Look, a UFO! Let's go to the UFO sighting. Not the most creative approach, but... Hey, what's that? Up in the sky! Look, it's a UFO! A UFO, where? A UFO? There, now's your chance. What the heck? There ain't no UFO up there. Uh, forget it. This statue's the real deal. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? What? Am I imagining things? Wasn't the statue over this way a bit more? Well, at least he's managed to scoot a little. What to do next? 
Maybe a little performance would draw their interest. Sing a song. All right. Time to debut my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring my singing to you. Love you. You love me. Sutara was a kimini na. Come on, I nailed it. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be brave to break out singing a cappella in public. You got pipes, buddy. Oh, I think I know this song. That was your chance, Tokokichi. All ass. Agapella's not all that exciting, though. Back to the statue. Huh? You idiots. You're facing the wrong way. Ah. Uh. Mama, statue saw has turned around. I wasn't imagining it. That statue's moving. Crap. His cover's blown. Now what? Hey, one-eyed willy. You're annoying as hell. Hmm? Quit your lame ass singing. What's wrong with you, man? You think this is some <laughs> you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal. Trust me on this one. I ain't singing because I want to. Bullshit. I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb. And I'm gonna beat the shit out of you for it. <laughs> now we're really drawing a crowd. Listen, come over here. Listen. Oh, I lost my, um, I lost my, uh, heat. I want to try to do a, a, a reverse heat action, but I guess, I guess I should just beat him. Fuck it. We lose heat for hitting a guy blocking. Like, I, I, I couldn't dodge. Oh, maybe we just lose heat for not hitting anyone. is uh, kicking my ass a little. Sorry, please, let me go. Spineless blowhard. Wow, that was spectacular. What the? Oh man, you rock- The guy didn't go! You rocked it, buddy. That was awesome, mister. You were like one of those heroes on TV. Whoa, I don't know how I did it. But I've got everybody's attention on lockdown. Now Tokugichi, escape. You missed your chance. There, you made it to the pizza's palace's porcelain throne. What? The statue, it's gone! Huh? It is gone. How did that happen? Mama, where did statue sound go? I... I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. It's so weird. But I guess I got a free show out of it, so fine by me. Oh no. I'm meeting someone. I have to run. I should be on our way too. Yeah, but that was fun. There. Guess that's the end of that. Oh, my savior. Yo, did you make it to the crapper in time? Yes, you were so good at distracting everyone. I made it before the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. Is that so? Glad to hear it. Gotta hand it to you, though. It ain't an easy thing holding people's attention. That's the truth. People think it's easy to draw attention to yourself. But what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you've got it. 
Uh huh. You street entertainers are something else. It's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes it all worthwhile. It's not much, but please take this with my thanks. Okay. By the way, you know you've got a real talent for performing in public, you know. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was the icing on the cake. It was so amazing. I just couldn't look away. It was so inspiring that I almost forgot to sneak off. But that brawl wasn't a performance. It was really spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. You've inspired me to keep working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you'll keep honing your performance chops, too. Let's both keep bringing smiles to people's faces. Hey, I told you, I'm no entertainer. Well, there goes an odd duck, but you gotta respect that. It ain't easy making people laugh or bringing them joy. Being an entertainer is as tough as any other business. I just realized I, I haven't unlocked any uh, places to train my skills. Maybe that's that's probably chapter four, I'm guessing. Here, let's save. Oh, you took it that way. I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Oh, I don't get it. What's this? A lover spat in public? Huh? So close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Oh, don't gloat. Can we just drop it? But... What's all this ruckus about? You kids are being awful loud in front of this shop. It's bad for business. Oh, yes. So sorry. So, spill it. What's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. Some picture you drew out of squares. Has you all worked up? What the hell? It's not a drawing. It's a crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle. Hmm. Yes, it's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end of the puzzle. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from the specific grids and are used to form one word or phrase at the end. Oh, how about that? Oh, I think I know where this is going. That's what's hip and happening these days. It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are. But this puzzle Kokun made is too hard. I'm over it. Kokun. Oh, that would be me. I'm Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, we know where the fuck this is going. Oh, shit. So you two made... Uh, well, th this is going in one of two directions. It all depends on if she's aware of it or not. Those are very different directions. So you two make puzzles to get each other to solve them. You, know, you must really like these things. Uh, yes, that's true, but... Oh, blah. I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made it for me, but can I give up? No, absolutely not. Huh? Why? Because you just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. Oh, you're sucking all the fun right out of this. By being so intense, Kokun. I don't want to do it. Kokun? You make an easier puzzle. And do it later. Because this is going to ruin the memory, guy. You're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Kokun. I don't want to do it. Oh, no. You have to. Please. I said I don't want to anymore. Sorry to intrude. Have fun solving puzzles. Uh, and fighting about it or whatever. But just keep it down, will you? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. May I have your name? Huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san. I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? <laughs> Say what? Okay. So does she know that this is a proposal or does she not? Whoa. So when you solve your puzzle, it becomes a proposal to Shizuku-chan. <laughs> That's some real creative shit. Shh. Majima-san. Keep your voice down. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just trying to say it's real clever. Romantic too, I guess. 
<laughs> Thank you. So the two possibilities are A, she actually can't solve the puzzle, and so and he's just pushing it, and she can't figure it out, and so she's getting pissed. Answer two is that she's already solved it in her head, and she knows what it is, and she doesn't want to um, go through the awkwardness of turning him down, so she's pretending she can't solve it. Oh, thank you. But I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Oh, God. She probably fucking knows. Oh, that's a tough one. Yes, that's where you come in, Majima-san. You knew help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle. Huh? Help her solve it? Why do I gotta do that? If I keep pounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku-chan with this puzzle so she can get my proposal? Sure, okay. All right, sure, I'll help you. <laughs> you will. You're my hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle, and you're golden, right? Yes. If the puzzle questions are properly solved, the proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. The proposal's a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch it for you. Thank you. Let's move on inside. Goku, you made this crossword puzzle way too hard. Can't we do something else? Don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab you've got. I'd like that actually, but there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. I'll be okay. Majima-san here is an expert. He can help you with it. Right, Majima-san. Like a wordsmith at cro a crossword forge. Oh, really? <laughs> that would be so helpful. Goku's well, been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. Huh? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Let, let's get the puzzle started. Let's solve one down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, what's one down? Well, what's the clue? Let me see. One down. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes. And often served with gravy... Is called blank potatoes. <laughs> the blank is where the answer goes. Back it up. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know? A brown sauce. They often serve with... Uh, with steaks and meat. It's served in a western style. Oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, Shizuku-chan. Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish... It goes well with gravy. I can't picture it. And the number of squares... Looks like it's six letters. Okay. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes. All then served with gravy. It's called blank potatoes. The blank being six letters long, it's... <laughs> mushed. Mushed potatoes. Mashed. Ain't it mashed? Oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Majima-san, you're fabulous. <laughs> yep, yep. Ajima-san, you're on the ball. Yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only places that serve mushed potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? This is what you're hoping for. Yes, you're doing great. I think it's safe to fill in the squares then. Shizuki-chan from square one down, mashed. Okay, let's see. Mashed. I wrote it down. Uh. All right. Next clue. Next clue is, what's the most popular snack food at movie theaters? Koku even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. I haven't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. I have to agree. But if you shared some at the last time you saw a flick, do you remember what it was, Shizuku-chan? Hmm, I do remember Koku buying some stuff at the counter, but what all was it? They asked what size he wanted, and then... Oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grids to be filled at the time. So is this... So this girl is just an idiot. Okay, a seven-letter <laughs> snack food. That's the most popular at movie theaters, and it comes in different sizes. Okay. <laughs> 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 sharing a hot dog. Fucking Lady and the Tramping a hot dog together at a movie theater. Popcorn. Ain't it popcorn? Oh, yes. That's right. It's popcorn. <laughs> yep, yep. That's it. 
Yes, popcorn is really taking off at the movie theaters lately. <laughs> God, part of me want, wants to just answer like hot dogs and shit. <laughs> just see the guy panic. <laughs> Why didn't I remember that? Looks like we got it right. The only thing is they give different rewards based on your answers in these quests. Looks like we got it right. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. Shizuku-chan, let's fill in those squares. Okay, um, popcorn. I wrote it down. All right, bring on the next clue. The next clue is... A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere, sometimes called a blank phone. They really make phones that you can put in bags or carry on your shoulder now. Man, what a time to be alive. Looks like a word that's eight letters long. Well, then you carry it around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it a... I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap. That can be taken anywhere called a blank phone. There's eight letters. A eight letter word to fill in the blank is a a backpack phone. I don't fucking know. Ain't it a backpack phone? Backpack phone. This does sound very portable. That must be it. Huh? Uh what? And backpacks have straps too, right, Majibisan? Is this probably a shoulder phone? Yeah, two of them. It's perfect. Fit at eight letters long. I think we've seen one in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but fill in those boxes. Shizuku's <laughs> backpack. Okay. It says, <laughs> Will you marry Ba? Who's Ba? No, that's wrong. It is? That's wrong. <laughs> the clue said a carrying strap, not two. Why would you carry a phone on your back? It's not an army field radio. Oh, I guess not. Oh, so you're saying it's not a backpack? It's shoulder. You can wear these phones on your shoulder. So, of course, that's where the name comes from. It's called a shoulder phone. So that means just write shoulder in the blank squares. Okay, God, this is the most botched proposal ever. You're way too intense, Cocoon, but fine. Shoulder phone, bag phone. Why two names? I wrote it down. Good. On to the next one. Majima-san, we're almost done. Next one's the last clue. Yeah, then let's do this. <laughs> okay, I read the last clue. A term used to categorize the face of men. A man with a typically plain Japanese f f features is called blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. The fuck? The hell is that? Teenager slang? Now I'm screwed. I think the two blanks are where the answer goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters in all. Okay. So the opposite of sauce face must be something to do with a flavor or condiment, right? Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face that's rugged and foreign, uh, then this would be softer. Okay. The term used to describe the face of a plain Japanese guy. It's two words followed by face. The opposite of sauce face. So, those two words are... Salt-free. Isn't it salt-free? A salt-free. Now that makes sense. Salt-free would definitely be plain. And I guess it would be related to seasoning. Huh? What? When I fry an egg, I use a da- <laughs> I just use just a dash of salt. It's not quite salt-free, but close enough, right? How about you, Majima-san? I just listen. I'm actually trying to solve it. Okay, I just suck at this crossword. I just my eggs and sauce, so no salt free. Uh, sounds like the total opposite. It's two words, eight letters. This one here is a grand slam. Wait, but Suzuki chan, gotta write that down. Salt free, okay? <laughs> okay, salt free. No, <laughs> that's wrong. Oh my god, this guy. Salt is a seasoning. But you're saying salt-free. How are salt and sauce opposites? The logic train left the station. You guys weren't on it. Wait, what were the other ones? Miso soup and what was the other one? Really? Oh, so the answer isn't salt-free? It's soy sauce. The opposite of a sauce face is a soy sauce face. Oh my gosh. You're a girl. You should know this. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Write it down. Soy sauce is the answer. 
The opposite of sauce is soy sauce? Good to know. Okay, okay. Soy sauce face and sauce face, huh? Kids these days. I wrote it down. Let's see. That's it for the clues. Yes. Yay, it's done. Wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing you gotta do. Don't you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circled letters to form a word. Oh, right. Let's see. It says, let's blank. I guess... It's let's fuck. Let's blank. I guess the blank is the word... Wait a second. Oh, okay, okay. Let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you get from the letter circled on the puzzle. So it's five letters. From mash, I get the letter M and A. From popcorn, I get the letter R. From shoulder, I get another R. And from soy sauce, the letter Y. Okay. Now let's write those letters in the blanks and read the whole thing out loud. That's Mary? Kokun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting it in a crossword puzzle would help me. So that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one. But I made it too hard. I'm sorry. Kokun. So, uh, um, what you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku-chan. Do you, do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Huh? Kokun, I want you to look at me in the eyes and say it. Sorry. Shizuku-chan, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> really? You will? Sweet, yes. How hard was that? I wish you could have just said it instead of putting me through this. You idiot. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd have so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know? I wanted you to say- Oh! She did it on purpose, but for a reason I didn't foresee. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kosaku and Shizuku. Okay. Majima-san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please, take this. You got five tourmalines. Okay, thank you. Majima-san, you sure you know we're in a crossword puzzle? You breeze right through it. You really, you're really new at these? Yep, first timer. Uh, it was pretty fun, though. You gotta put together another one of these for me sometime. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle making days are over. From now on... If I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Kokun. <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Kokun. But good for you. We'll be going now. Thank you, Majima-san. Thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. Uh. Yep, no doubt. Okay, nailed it. Okay. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you got to say it with your own words. Your own words are what get you through life's toughest spots. Even when you got to cross words. Ha ha ha. High five, brain. Time to be moving along. Jesus, what a nerd. Okay, I want to see something. I wish they would put... Uh, let you know which ones you've checked off here. Good job! You got all three cards of her! Nice! <laughs> okay. Oh, does it just give them to you, like, linearly? Or is it alphabetical order? Let's... Oh, it's... Oh, is it... Hmm. Okay, whatever. Let's just assume we've showed him all of them for now. Okay. One quest left. Before we need to progress the main quest. Uh-oh, 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 no, no, no. Uh-oh, 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 no, no, no. Ah, oh, found a payphone, hmm? Oh, look. This guy's got a backpack phone. 
Hello? Oh, hi. How's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. What's that clunky ass bag he's slinging? I want to hear about my shoulder bag phone. Oh, see, if we did this quest first, we would have gotten that one right. Uh huh? No. <laughs> That's not what you're calling about? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. Bag phone. Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit, ain't it? Oh, all right. I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you know who to call. Okay, bye. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of bag phones? Don't they know how much I had to beg for this thing? To beg for this thing? <laughs> for more jokes like that, subscribe! Hey, buddy. Were you just chatting on the phone through that clunky bag you got there? Chunky bag you got there? Pardon? Yes. <laughs> exactly, yes. I was talking using this. That's pretty wild. Is this some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. It's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. A bag phone? Who puts a phone in a bag? Oh really? You don't know? This is all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile technology uh, telephone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people will be able to carry telephones with them all the time. You'll be able to connect with anyone, anytime, anywhere. A mobile telephone, eh? Crazy. But what's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? Uh, you're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, you're not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You could be in touch with your friends and family all at all times. I could call up my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure. I guess I could see the use in that. I knew you'd see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? You should head to the store and get it. To ride the wave of the future. Yeah, right. I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Riding the future always comes with a tax. Actually, yeah. It's more expensive than I should even say. Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones with the rest of the peasants. Hmm. But weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I, I was about to make a call. So I see. <laughs> Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge technology of my bag phone to place your call. Whoa, you sure about that? Mm. Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future. Today, you need to understand just what a bag phone represents. Aren't they generous? A bag phone, huh? Guys, as it's state of the art, do I want to see what it's all about? Fuck yes, let's do it. <laughs> sure. Let's see what the future holds. <laughs> all right. I know you're excited, but the future is right here, hanging off my shoulder. Here you go. You're about to get a taste of tomorrow. When does Yakuza 1 take place? Is it early 2000s? I think Yakuza 1 was a PlayStation 2 game. So it's probably early 2000s. Here you go. You're about to get the taste of tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. I ain't hearing anything. Really? Can I see it for a sec? Oh man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took a call from my buddy. Battery's dead? Mm. Yeah, the thing about the future is it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Well, how long does it take to recharge? Mm. A mere eight hours. That long? You only had one conversation earlier. And that's all it takes to run it down to empty? That's the price you pay for being on uh, the vanguard of the times. It's always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as a cherry blossom. It's ephemeral. Right. Sounds like more of a hassle than it's worth. Well, seeing as how your marvel of technology's gone silent, I guess I'll have to pass on your offer. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Let's not be hasty. Now what? You can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. You just told me it'll take eight hours. I ain't got that kind of time, kid. I'll be able to tap my message out in Morse code before that thing came back. Well, it just so happens that this thing can also use regular batteries to make calls. Mm. So, did you go buy me a battery for it? I would think Don Quixote carries them. Uh -huh. What? Now I gotta run your errands? Don't be so upset. 
For the price of a couple of batteries, you could be getting in touch with the future. Hmm, I do want to admit that I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man. I'll wait right here for you. By the way, my name's Idozuka. I promise you can use my bag phone as long as you come back with a battery. All right, I'm Majima. I'll be here when I can. I guess if I'm ever by Don Quixote, I'll pop in and get this kid a battery. It's the future we're talking about. Okay. Wait, is Don Quixote... Shit. Bam! Oh, hey guys, what's up? Fuck, it didn't it didn't do an a an action. Dang it. I can't I can't get a a, 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 a reverse action. What the fuck was that attack? Okay, we'll just do the normal one. Boop. Goodbye. Okay. Batteries are super cheap in this game. I don't trust this quest. I'm getting a bunch, just in case. Okay. Uh, Majibasan, did you come back with a battery? I got a battery. But, do I hand it over? Yes. Yeah, I got you your battery. Let's get this bag phone fired up. Thank you. You're about to witness the technology of the future. Come alive. Ow. In your hands. What? You feeling alright? I'm not getting the sense that you're up to this. I'm fine. Please, don't mind me. This is... Now is not the time for you... Now is the time for you to experience tomorrow's technology today. Uh... Is it throwing his back out because it's so heavy? It's my shoulder. It hurts. See, if only it was spread across both of your shoulders like a backpack phone. That's what you get for slinging around that brick of a phone all the time. Well, I can't very well put state-of-the-art technology on the dirty ground, can I? Oh, my shoulder, it hurts. This guy did a real number on his shoulder. Guess I could find something that might heal him up a bit. But I gotta do that before I bug him about his phone, I guess. All right, sit tight. I'll get you something to fix up your shoulder a bit. Uh, you will? <laughs> If I'm being honest, this is a real pain in the ass, but now I'm too damn invested. Uh, sunken cost fallacy, Majima. Get the fuck out of it while you can. And when you get better, I'll try it. Oh, I get to try it for sure. Sounds fair? That's a promise. I'd be happy to keep. Guess he could use a healing drink. How's the shoulder holding up? Ah, oh, good. I got something that might help him. Here, take it. Here, try this. Oh, wow. My shoulder suddenly feels way better. Thank you. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Finally, you can experience making a call on this wonder of the world. Hey, what the hell is that? Check this crazy bag out. It's got a phone stuck to it. Wait just a moment. Who are you guys? And where are your manners? <laughs> Let me take a look at that fancy bag. This isn't just a bag. It's a bag phone. This is why you knuckle-dragging gorillas can't have nice things. What'd you call us, asshole? Shut your yuppie mouth. Hi! 
Oh no, is the phone broken? Oh, uh, ouch. Hey, what's your damn problem? Huh? Who the fuck are you? This loser's buddy? I guess you could say that. You weren't thinking of waltzing up and taking a crack at that state-of-the-art technology without throwing in a couple punches, were you? You monkeys got no idea how delicate this shit is. And besides, I was first in line. What's this guy mouthed off about? Let's just shut him up. Yeah. You're in for it now, Cyclops. Ow, ow, ow. He dead. He got brain damage. I think there's a special action you can do with that kettle. I don't know why it didn't go. Oh, he, maybe he was standing up. Maybe is why. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe you have to do it standing up. Holy shit. This guy's a beast. Sorry, we screwed with you. Machima-san, thank you yet again. I don't know how I can ever thank you for all you've done for me today. It's honestly nothing. I hardly broke a sweat. Now, let's see that fancy bag phone. It's about damn time. Good. Hey. Not getting a dial tone. Eh? What? But I made sure it was charged. Maybe when the goofball knocked you on your ass, this thing got a circuit knocked loose or something. Huh? Maybe. Huh. Being on the cutting edge is... It is delicately constructed. Oh no, my beautiful bag phone. Well, I guess it just wasn't in the cards for me to use your phone. That's life for you. No way. This is personal now. Huh? Majima-san, you heard me out when everyone else mocked me. You were even kind enough to buy me a battery and medicine. I can't let you walk away disappointed after everything you've got, you've done for me. Listen, man. Walking away now would be actually the least disappointed I could possibly be. Majima-san, please come with me to the M store in Shokufuchu West a little later. I promise you, you will finally get to make a call in this state-of-the-art experience. Got it. Looking forward to that day. I'll be waiting out front. Okay, that's to the south. See in here. Maybe I just need to pop in to reset it. Oh, can't get past her. I just walked back here to see if there'd be like a one of those telephone cards, you know? There we go. Hey, Majima-san. What took you? Huh? A bag. My mom bought me a new one. It's my new bag phone. Whoa. Then that means your patience will finally be rewarded. The future is here. And with bag phones, pay phones will fade into obscurity. Ajima-san, you said you wanted to give the future a shot, right? The time has finally come. Just dial the number of the person you wanted to talk to. Uh, yeah. What's wrong? I can't think of anyone I want to talk to. I forgot who I wanted to call. Eh? What? Majima-san, are you feeling alright? You're not going to faint on me, are you? There's nothing wrong with me. After all, that's screwing around. How am I supposed to remember? Uh, I guess that's kind of my bad, isn't it? Well, if you ever need to use the phone of the future, I'll be here. I'm happy to let you use it anytime you want. Assuming it has a charge, that is. Will do. But man, I gotta say, this new technology stuff sure is fragile. 
That's the way of things. Always a start, isn't it? But this is only the beginning. I bet one day payphones will be so light and convenient everyone will be carrying one. Maybe we'll even do more than let people talk too. Wouldn't it be cool if your payphone could take pictures? Are you kidding me? They put a camera on that thing. I'd break your damn bag to carry it. Now you'd break your damn back to carry it. Not to mention the film. If that's the price of progress, then I'll pay it gladly. <laughs> Besides, I can always turn to you for help. <sighs> Give me a break. I'm done with these tech fads. Okay. You know what this means, guys? Well, we now have a save point there. That's good. So, the good news is I, I believe we have done all of the sub-stories available to us at the moment. Let's look at the completion. Oh, we have 25, 23 points. Let's see. We're getting there with the telephone cards, actually. Oh! I just realized we did that one... Oh, God. Fuck it, we'll do it. I just realized we did that one quest with the couple. So, there might be a video in Gendara. All right. For real, sorry. You won't see us do it again. Thanks. Dang, you're tough. Here's a little gift from me. Ooh, ruby plates are nice. Ah, uh, wrong way. All right. What was the girl's name? It was Suzuku? Suzuku, I think? Or Shizuku? Is either Suzuku or Shizuku? I think. Oh. Uh, don't see one here. Shizuku. Okay. This was the girl that he proposed to that we did the crosswords with. We're, we're making some progress. I actually think that that girls list is actually kind of a good... Um, what do you say? Like, impression of our sub-story progress. It's actually showing that we're making pretty good progress in the game. Some of the girls actually look quite a bit like their characters in games. Some not so much, but some are pretty similar. Okay. Ooh, 15 clips. Fuck yes. Okay. I think 15 is actually an important milestone for us. Because I think in Chapter 4, there becomes a side quest that we can only complete, provided we have unlocked 15 clips. So, on that note, we are going to call it here. And next time, we're going to progress the main quest. So if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Mwah.